so we've made it uh, 175566 just says slow down our vehicle will lower so I'm trying to stay under 30 actually does have two lights on it, a red and a blinking green. Okay, so lights are flashing. The radio is counting upwards again. Okay, after removing the wiring harness and EAS reflash tool and connecting all the ride height sensors and putting the vehicle back to its original state, clearing the error codes or the error errors that we got on our iCar system, this is what happens now. And the vehicle starts. So obviously there is some issue either with that EAS reflash unit. And we're going to turn off. That is the uh, second time trying it. And it started both times. So it is not a problem with the vehicle, the ECU, or any of its systems, not the immobilizer. So we're going to go ahead and try wiring in the new replacement harness and the new EAS tool. Uh, this is after we had cleared all the fault codes 
are the fault names, I should say, because this iCars scanner does not give us the code numbers. So let's go ahead and give that a try, wire up the harness, and see if the EAS reflash tool works. After completing the wiring harness bypass, unplugging the ride height sensors, and connecting the battery, this is what happens. And the vehicle, even after a few minutes, does not want to start. Okay, with a new battery, the trickle charger on, and the bypass unit plugged in, ignition on, we're getting all those errors. It will not start, and as you can see, we are well over 12 volts, 12 and a half volts.